Hi, I'm Aaron Pack, and today we'll be unboxing the Astra SL1680 development kit. So let's dive in. Before opening the box, you'll find valuable information using this QR code on the bottom that will lead you to a range of information from our website. Additionally, there is a helpful block diagram on the back of the box for quick and easy reference. Now let's take a look at what you get with this kit. The kit comes with a board, a power adapter, and a USB Type-C cable. You also need an HDMI cable if you want to hook up to the display. You can see that this board is assembled and ready for use. On the bottom, we have the Wi-Fi module with the antenna on it for wireless connectivity. And on the top of the kit, we have the core module, which houses the main processor or MPU for either the 1680, 1620, or 1640. The bottom portion of the kit is the I.O. board, which has an Ethernet connectivity, an HDMI output, and four USB 3.0 ports. On the outer edges, there are two USB Type-C ports. One is for power, and the other is for USB 2.0 transfer or USB flash updates. These are not interchangeable. So it is important to note that the USB Type-C port next to the HDMI is the power input. On this side, we have the 40-pin connector that can be used for various specific functions, such as additional storage, enhanced connectivity, or specialized input and output. We also have two MIPI inputs for cameras and a MIPI output that you can connect to your display panel. Those are the components of the platform. Now let's get started with setting it up so we can put it to work. Let's begin by using the provided power adapter and plug it into the correct USB port for power. Plug in the HDMI cable which connects to your monitor and then use your USB dongle to connect your keyboard and mouse. Turn on the power and you'll see the green LED light up. It will take about 15 seconds to boot up where you will see an Astra logo on your monitor. Open the terminal. A login prompt will be displayed. And now you're ready to start the development. The boot up is from the EMMC by default, but you can also choose the boot source between SD card or USB. Everything I just walked you through is also available on the user guide, which is also available on our website. You are now ready to explore capabilities of Synaptics Astra Development Kit. Check out the documentation for more details. Get your hands on a Makina board today if you haven't done so, and remember to watch all the Astra tutorial videos. Thanks for watching.